All right, so let's look now at standard library. Okay, so we still have our diagram here showing that we've got uh, libraries for each of the system calls, which are implemented in assembly language. And those go ahead and go into kernel mode, go to a trap dispatcher, and then call the actual implementation of that system call. It returns back across the kernel user mode boundary. So as you're returning from kernel mode to user mode, it switches back to user mode and then goes back to the application. However, applications don't necessarily just call system calls. They'll also call lots of library routines. An example, uh, libraries might be, for instance, random number generators. Random number generator is just an algorithm. I suppose we should really call it a pseudo-random number generator. So it's an algorithm that doesn't require any special permissions. Okay, but it is something that we don't want everyone to write from scratch. So there are bunches of different libraries that are just packages of user code and they don't make any system calls themselves. Okay, there are other libraries that do. So for instance, if you've got a library that does IO, input output, that has to eventually make a system call in Unix that would be read and write. So let's say we've got an application that is not directly using write, but instead is using printf. So we do something like the canonical printf hello world. Okay. Uh, and we really should have some double quotes in there. And if we wanted to be nice, we might put a new line as well. But in any case, we call printf. So where's printf? Printf is in another library, which is part of the standard C library. Okay, so the standard C library will include implementation for printf. It has some parameters. In fact, it's unusual because it has a variable number of parameters. And somewhere down in printf will be a call to write. Okay, well, so what we know is that this call from the application calls into this printf. We know that the call from write in this printf goes into our system call library. And then we know that eventually calls a trap into the kernel. And then we come back, come back, come back, come back from write, and we come back in here. And then eventually we'll return from printf implementation back into our code. We'll talk later about why we have these libraries. Why would, why would a program, why would an application not want to just call write itself? Part of the reason might be buffering. This going back and forth from user mode to kernel mode that is making a system call it can be relatively expensive. Okay? It can cost hundreds of instructions. And so therefore, you might want to minimize how many system calls you make. So for instance, if I call printf hello world, it's not necessarily, and I make another printf after that, it's not necessarily going to call write for every printf. Instead, it'll be buffered and only call it when the buffer gets full. That is it for the standard library.